it's not a cylinder head, you ask it, but then water would be everywhere. So quite a lot of oil there. Bloody Nora. <laughs> to do today was I've got to hook up the battery so I can get inside I've got to dismantle the uh, interior slightly take out the subwoofer so I can get at those shocks I'm going to take the shocks off and both sides obviously so essentially I can get a, a, a full run at the underside because obviously as you'll remember I'm looking at completely repainting resealing uh, and uh, stone chipping all with original products uh, the underside of the car um, I'm still Working out the best way to do these um, these studs here. Uh, I'm in contact with Bullhoff, which is a German company who sells these studs to Porsche. Uh, but strangely enough, their replacement parts are M. They're marked as M5, which is what these are here. They're exactly M5. So if you measure a good one, it's exactly M5. But the um, the replacements are M4.8, which is silly because uh, they don't they don't fit with any of these old brackets, uh, and Porsche doesn't currently have a solution for it. What they do is they install an M6 version and drill the bracket out, which I'm not really too keen on doing. So anyway, I'm hoping to get that sorted out. Once that's done, and I've looked at all the rust patches under here, there aren't many, but there are certain parts. Um, then I'll get it painted. Um, so that is the job hopefully today. First of all, I want to work out which ones of these I can I can um, I have to replace Okay, so I've got the car down on the lift and I've got it open and I haven't had it open for guys four months or so And um, so what I've done is I've just come up come inside and obviously flat down the seats taken the the covers off of the base outlet for the subwoofer and in there are a couple of screws uh, which I've got to remove, and then I'll get the subwoofer base out, a uh, subwoofer box out. Okay, so that is the subwoofer out. Uh, essentially, you just sort of slide it forward towards the front of the car, and then there's a small pinch catch here. So there's a cable which you pinch, pinch down, and pull out. Um, and the bolts are a T. Have a look. A T, what's that, 30, hex, and then when it's out, it looks like that. So I'm dare saying this has never been out, this one. Um, I don't know why it's not focusing, there we go. And now I've got to remove this plate here, or this section here, I think, to get to the strut mounts, which are going to be under there. Okay, so just filming through the glass here, you pull that, um, that fabric and padding away, and then that exposes the top of the strut. Uh, but essentially you've got to remove, where is it, that bracket there from those two studs there. And then you pull out this, this carpet section and it reveals then the top of the, top of the strut. So I'm going to remove that now. Okay, so that's got both of those struts out. Uh, you can see you know, how much more space there is now. And obviously the space I need to clean up up here and also to get the, the respray job done all through the wheel arches and this side as well. That's much better. So I'll do a bit of cleaning up, I think. Um, I've cleaned up these, these sides here, or the rear, but what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna start cleaning up all of the front wheel arches and all the front of the, uh, the body as well. Okay, so the next thing I want to do is I want to mark all of the studs which support these underbody trays, and I'll tell you why. Um, because these trays are held on by these studs here, as you can see. And this is a good example because it's rusted away. And they're held on by these plastic nuts. And these are designed around the M5, or I think they call them the D5, uh, thread. Um, but as I said, the replacements, and here's one I, I fitted earlier, the replacements are M4.8. So when you put these, 
plastic nuts, the old ones, onto here, they don't hold because it's 0.2 of a millimeter too thin. So what Porsche did for these uh, nuts, these plastic nuts, is they they uh, remanufactured uh, the nuts in M4.8. So you can actually buy these nuts to fit these slightly smaller studs, um, but only for these plastic nuts. So it doesn't apply to any of these brackets. So any of these brackets that you get from Porsche are still designed around the M5. So if you put, if you buy a new one of these and you put it on one of the replacement studs, it won't hold. It'll be just like that, which is what I meant earlier in the video. So what I want to do is I want to hold up all of these uh, pieces under here uh, to the car and then mark off which one, which of these studs are, are used for holding those, um, those, those guards on so I can confidently replace them with the smaller M4.8s and buy new nuts. So that's what I'm going to do now. I hope that's clear. It's a bit complicated, but uh, uh, so is fixing this car. So I hope this helps in some Okay, way. so I've just been through and held all of the underbody panels up to the car and made a mark here of all of the studs which correspond to uh, those 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 uh, guards and also which use those plastic screws. So what I'm, there are 24 of them. So you can see them there, you can probably count them all up. There are 24 studs at the bottom of the car, which you can, if they're rusted, cut them off, drill them out and replace them with the Porsche Rivkla or the Bullhoff Rivkla uh, system, um, which Porsche supply for this specific job, um, at the M5 version or the, I think, they, as I say, they call it the D5. Uh, so you can, you, you can replace them all and you can buy the new nuts, uh, plastic nuts, which actually fit the 4.8 uh, studs. All of the rest of them, right, so for that rusted one there, that is for a bracket. So I've got to find a solution for that. You can see some of them are still perfect, you know? Some of them are still pristine, but a lot of them aren't. So. Out of all, I haven't counted up all of the rusted ones yet, but I'm thinking that's going to reduce my, my issue quite substantially because um, most of them, I mean, 24 I can replace. And I'm going to go through now and count how many uh, which I, I need to replace but don't have a solution for quite yet. So I'll do that now. Okay, so I just went through and counted the ones which um, don't work with the, uh, with the plastic nuts. And there are only four. <laughs> that I need to replace. I mean, there are some of them which are looking like completely rusted, like this, for example. So that, I don't know if I can get that to focus, yeah. So that one, for example, has to be changed, but then you get ones like this, which are fine, they're just a bit crusty, so I've got to clean those up. So there are only four. I should have done this ages ago, because I've been worrying about this for months, and I've been trying to find a solution for it, and I really should have done this earlier. So, with, I don't know if anybody else is doing this at the moment, but I mean, first of all, before you start worrying about it, go through and check how many you actually need to replace, um, uh, which don't work with the, uh, the, the M4.8s, uh, because it's bound to be very, very little. And I'm thinking now whether I do actually uh, just replace them with M6s, which is what Porsche do, and look, this is one of those brackets, for example, uh, and just drill out, if that's possible. Drill out that very slightly. Because with an M6 stud, that splits. But let's see. I'll, uh, I'll have to make a decision soon. Okay, so I'm gonna leave those studs for now and just make a bit of progress today. So what I've done is put some, put some uh, newspaper down and I'm just gonna clean up this, this wheel arch here. Okay, so that's got that cleaned up quite well. Uh, I'm sure it's all pretty, still pr pretty dirty, and it's only that one side. Obviously, it goes into the nooks and crannies in the door crease there, and underneath here, the trunk 
Um, but that's just the start on that side and it's looking a lot better. Um, I'm going to give it a blow over with the air gun now, but obviously that'll need uh, really cleaning them with alcohol and rubbing down with the wire brush and everything, but that's the next step. Okay, so that smaller brake line runs behind all the way along, all the way down here. Let's see if we can get it in there. It's always behind, always behind. And then it's underneath, I believe, hang on. Yeah, it's underneath, closest to the body, all the way down there and all the way to the end. Okay, I'm going to call it a day now, um, but I'm pretty pleased with the progress today. It's good to be working on the Porsche again. And, uh, you know, it's baby steps really get it to getting it back on the road. There's a lot to do still. But uh, got both those shocks off, got all these counted up under here, and I got these wheel arches nice and clean, or cleaner, I should say. Um, and next time, maybe tomorrow, I'll come back and I'll clean up underneath here as well. And then, as I said, the same side over, same as, same, same over this side as well. I've got a bit of a, a leaky brake servo there, um, which is fine, dripping into that there. Cleaned up over this side too, and started already to expose some of the, the rust patches like that there so that's that's quite typical that's quite a big one basically what happens is the uh, that looked all fine and then I started poking up with a knife from from under here which is where the where the rust and is all of that um, stone chip here started to peel away so obviously the the water got up underneath it so I dare say there's gonna be more patches like that as I go but that's the whole point of this so yeah the only thing I can't get off is this clutch line. I can't disconnect it inside the car there. It's, uh, it just won't budge. But I'll probably have to, mm, I'll probably have to get it off to be honest. I don't know how at the moment. But anyway, that's a job for another day. So, see you next time.